Odessen, huh? Could it be there's really a place where no one wants to kill us? I handpicked it myself. We'll be safe. Are we sure it's wise to leave Scorpio in control of the bridge? Got the ship locked down. She can't go anywhere without my approval. I hope you're right. So, why this world? Remote, unsettled, and strong in the Force. But unlike Korriban or Tython, Odessen is altogether balanced. How did you find it? I've always had a strong affinity with the Force. It's what set me on this path to begin with. Led me to forge a certain alliance all those years ago. With the Republic? I meant with you. Well, here we are. This is your new alliance. This is the best you could do? It's a start. From crash landing in a swamp to gravestone and all these followers? You made this possible. You should say a few words. Your attention. As of now, this camp is under my control. You will work fast, you will work efficiently, and you will work hard to prepare for what's to come. The past you knew will never be a reality again. Arkan has obliterated all of it. But we will grow in number. And together, without hesitation, we will strike at Arkan. If you fail me, make no mistake, in my camp, there will be consequences. Like what you've done with the place. Theron Sean. Hadn't seen you in a while. Wasn't sure you'd remember me. I take it Lana has been putting your skills to good use. She hasn't gotten me tortured by the enemy even once.
been a long five years. Feels like everything's changed. You got better looking. I don't know about that, but hey, I'll take it. Since I left the SIS, Lana's brought me in to manage operations. But before we get into all the more or less official stuff, I've got something for you. You found my people? No luck so far, but... Needs work! A lot of work! When you have a moment, it's time for that official stuff. I'll be inside. A squadron run like that will fail without detailed schematics. We need hangar positions, defensive capabilities. It would also help if we understood how to disrupt the power core. I cannot divine such information nor pray to the gods of science. All I can do is speculate. Unless, that is, we could extract such data in secret. Don't look at me. I've snuck into some crazy places, but stations like these are another deal altogether. All right, we'll table it for now. We have company. Need some help? With Arkans battle stations? We will, as soon as we understand them. We're building a healthy alliance, but it's not enough. The core worlds are still under the threat of Arkans' considerable reach. Now, I've assembled a team of specialists to help tackle the big questions and find potential recruits. Dr. Juvard Ilip Ogarov, if you recall. I'm no biologist, but I admit I'm fascinated by the effects of long-term carbonite poisoning on your mental faculties. Hello again. Bay One Ago, discharged from what's left of the Republic Navy, but still in this fight. Hilo Viz. Sure you've heard of me. Broke the toughest blockade in galactic history. Republic's greatest outlaw hero, basically. Your visage surfaced in my trials. I'm the mystic's on array. I will assist you. Hang on, who's the Republic's greatest outlaw hero? Told you, Dr. Hutt. That's 5,000 credits. <laughs> Moving on. If I may be so bold, I would ask a favor of you. I have my trained eye on a promising recruit. A gan, of all creatures. If you'd like to go over the details, you may find me in my splendid new laboratory. So, that's the team. Any questions? What do I have to do to find out what you've been up to all these years? We'll get a chance to talk soon. Well, if it isn't the new commander. We didn't get much of a chance to talk earlier. You lost, or just slumming it down here with the likes of us? You're actually not wrong, commander. The Alliance needs a lot to keep it going. Food, equipment, weapons, ships. And it needs to get everything without popping up on Arkan scanners. That kind of work takes a true professional. Someone who knows where to look, how to ask, and who to ask. So, naturally, your friends went and found the best. Yours truly to run the supply into this operation. I make sure you get what you need without raising any eyebrows. All at perfectly reasonable contract rates, plus hazard premiums and a discretion fee. One of the great truths of the galaxy, Commander. Fact is, a lot of freighter captains are happy just to have steady work from someone who won't shoot them in the back when it's time to pay up. All the same, I have to admit I've stretched my network of contacts pretty thin. If this alliance is gonna get much bigger, we're gonna need a lot more help. Smugglers, bounty hunters, maybe even pirates. Anyone who has useful skills or just knows their way around the underworld. You find anyone good, bring them in. I've always got my ear to the ground, too. If I find any promising leads, I'll let you know. Oh, one last thing. While you're out and about, you ever find a Deveronian by the name of Galt Renault or Tiresias Loci? You let me know. Need to put a few holes into that backstabber. Long story. Ha! We meet again. To share your company twice after so many years. I did not believe destiny could be so whimsical. Hmm. The intervening years have not treated you well. Oh, it is so true. I spent the last several years in a creative slump and, sadly lacking inspiration, let myself go. 
But these recent events have given me a renewed vigor and inspiration. You know, I still look back fondly upon our collaboration on the cab, toppling tomorrow. I had hoped to be able to work together again, and now we have been given the opportunity. Let us not squander it with idle chatter. On to business. It is no secret that against the Eternal Empire we stand at a massive technological disadvantage. In fact, that is almost an understatement. My role here is to coordinate the Alliance effort to understand the Eternal Empire technology, and to develop our own to bring us to an even footing. Your casual bigotry aside, I'm afraid my brethren are being profoundly short-sighted in this matter. There is no neutrality with respect to the Eternal Empire, only eventual subjugation. But I, for one, have had enough of delusional moguls in my lifetime. Let them sit in their sad denial, ensconced within their opulent palaces. Let them hasten their own demise with inaction. It falls to those of us with vision to accomplish what they will not. Forgive me for losing my temper. This is a matter of some frustration for me. Let us return to the matter at hand. The task is daunting indeed, which is what makes it exciting. To succeed, we must gather scientists, researchers, and representatives from the galaxy's many sentient species for their fresh perspectives. I do. An exceptional dad, both a Feinsman and an engineer by trade, is currently located in Zakul's Old World District. Feinsmen have a unique perception of reality. They can intuit what others struggle to grasp at all. A Feinsman who is also an accomplished engineer. I salivate to contemplate the contributions such an individual would make to our cause. I have forwarded to you our information concerning Yoon. For now, I must return to my art. This conversation has left me feeling inspired and I must create. Greetings. I am not the first mystic you have met. Correct. My decision was not made lightly. When my vision showed I must take many Voss, seek an outsider, and enter a war, great caution was exercised. My vision was given to five different interpreters. All five interpretations aligned. Thus, I am here. The mystics see and the Voss respond. We do what we must to protect Voss. As was seen, we have built an enclave for those gifted in the Force. Here they will meditate, train, and grow. I also meditate, awaiting visions of those who will yet join us. Your concerns are misplaced. There will be conflicts. Tempers will flare. The enclave will survive it, and grow stronger. I have also brought several Voss training in the Force. Some proficient, some beginners, all learning. Many more volunteered. I brought what the vision showed. The Enclave must grow, but it requires your support to do so. I meditate. My visions reveal those who might join. You will attempt to recruit them. My visions also showed many artifacts and force relics gathered here. The task of retrieving them also falls to you. With the relics, we will learn and grow. Our alliance will spread across the stars. I must return to meditation. As outsiders like to say, good luck. Well, if it isn't the new commander, it's a pleasure to be able to work with you again, sir. Your work at Kuat was impressive to say the least. Well, that bruises my ego a bit. But considering everything you've been tied up in, not to mention the years in stasis, can't say I really blame you. I'm Admiral Baywan Ego. We fought together at the Battle of Kuat. You really helped us out of a bad spot. And wow, did you send those imps packing. Uh, sorry, sir. 
That remark was totally inappropriate, given our current alliance. <laughs> Didn't they, though? At any rate, my job is to coordinate the Alliance's military and strategic intelligence assets. I'm looking forward to working with you to enhance our military capacity. Let me know if and when you're looking to help. We've got plenty of work to go around. To old friends and new allies. I'll drink to the second part. Do you even recall the last time we relaxed? I can. It was 2.6 million years ago, and Senya was still a jerk. And to think I was going to sing for you all tonight. You were what? Ah, oh, come on. I have got to hear this. Too late now. Theron, you can't let the weight of the galaxy rest on your shoulders all the time. Isn't that why you talked me into coming here? To lighten your load? I brought you here because you're good. Hey, look who it is. Don't worry, it didn't really start without you. Yes, we've only just begun. I wasn't sure you'd attend. Do you think I'm that dull? Should I tell the truth? <laughs> lie, 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 lie. Ah, don't listen to them. So, you gonna have a drink with us or what? I was hoping to have a talk with one of you first. Yeah? Well, leave me out of it. Cough. Look, you can do impossible things and change the galaxy. Great. Doesn't mean I have to like everything you've ever done. Take us in the right direction. I've got limits, and I'm not the only one. I'll reason with him. After he's had time to calm down. Hope he wasn't the one you wanted to talk to. No. It was actually you, Theron. Oh, well, sure. Let's catch up. And with the way everything changed, the SIS didn't feel right for me anymore, so I walked away. Kept up with my contacts, pretty much did what I was already doing, just not for the Republic. Not for anything. Against Zakul. I hear Suresh installed the puppet Chancellor. She's pulling the strings, no doubt about it. Made my decision to move along that much easier. Suresh has her supporters, a lot of them. But she'll wind up grinding the Republic to dust. You watch. What about your mother? The Grandmaster? No. Oh. The Jedi Order got scattered, plucked apart, and she decided to go somewhere. Didn't say where. No one's heard from her, far as I know. And I guess Lana's filled you in on the rest. I want you to know that I'll do everything I can to keep things running smoothly around here. So you'll take care of anyone who needs you? Not just anyone. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to thaw you out. Look at all you've accomplished. Everyone who chose to rally behind you. I haven't been one of those destiny people in a long time, but this... sure feels like it. If you mean being here with you, I agree. Party's over already? Everyone's on their way back to work. Everyone but Senya. I haven't found her. Could you find her? I need to discuss some logistical matters with Theron. All right. I'll come find you afterward. Works for me. It's impressive, you know. People from all over the galaxy want to stand behind you. That can't be what you were out here contemplating. It is, in a way. I was thinking how so many Scions followed Heskel. He would have them die as he did because their deaths were foreseen. Their visions provide great insight, but they're not infallible. Reminds me of the Heralds of Zildrog. There's another leader who paid for his certainty. Say what you will about Valkorion, but he at least considered the viewpoints of others. He listened to me. Most of the time. He didn't... He would never have done what... What... Arkin... What is it? I told you before that Arkin had a brother. Thaxon. 
They were inseparable until his death. Valen told me during our fight. Arkin murdered Vexen. His own brother. Maybe if I had raised him... Your fight with Valen. What happened? What she had to say? It struck me down to my core. Paralyzed me. She slipped away. Now, more than ever, I realize my children must be stopped, and that I have to make peace with the choices I've made. Whatever you've done to get here, I hope you can do the same. She raises a good question. How do you look back on your path to this moment? You're in my head. Why don't you take a look for yourself? And what good would that do our alliance? You may not see an alliance, but our destinies are now intertwined. Take advantage of that fact, and there is much you will be capable of. I see you defeating Arkham, even if there are those on this world who disagree. What does that mean? Who disagrees? You will learn soon enough. He's out there somewhere. Our own father, plotting against us. He's not the only one. After I told Mother that you killed Vaxen, she probably wants your head. But it's not a problem. You have the throne, the fleet, this whole empire. You are as safe from her as can be. I wish Vaxen could be here now. Let's see, I was right to challenge Father. Imagine it. The three of us ruling this empire as it was meant to be ruled. I'd like it if Thaxon were here too. But that's no longer possible. Doesn't matter. Father has a new favorite. He wants the Outlander to take all of this from you. I'll die before I let that happen to us. Of course you will. What is all this? It's your first official speech as Alliance Commander. When was that decided without my having any say whatsoever? It was never decided. There was no vote, no meetings, no debates. It's simply the way it is. The way it's been since the day you arrived. Everyone knows it. It's just official now. I thought you hated titles. I hate having one, but I do love granting them. They're looking to you to guide them to greatness as only you can. Take them there. You began with nothing. Now you stand inside the base you have built. The Alliance grows stronger every day. You've done well, but make no mistake. Your work has just begun. It's time to redouble your efforts. To sacrifice and do as your superiors tell you without question. When you grow tired, when you wish it would all end, I want you to think about the madman out there. Arkan remains a threat to everything you have ever held dear. Arkan is your enemy. Destroy him or be destroyed. They have come so far. Indeed, they have. They still have far to go. 
But at this rate, they could one day pose a challenge to the Eternal Empire. Perhaps. A pity so many of them will have to die. <laughs>